Welcome back to Dukas Copy TV and to another Targets in Focus, where we ask an expert to give us their analysis and predictions on three currency pairs over a one, three and 12 month period. Today we're looking at the New Zealand dollar against the Japanese yen, the euro against the US dollar and the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. Well, on the line I have Angus Campbell, Head of Market Analysis at London Capital Group, to discuss these pairs with me. Hi Angus, let's start with the New Zealand dollar against the Japanese yen. This has become a bit of a favourite among some traders of late. What are your predictions for this pair over the coming months and why? The general theme of uh, all my currency picks today are that um, everyone seems to be particularly bearish at the moment. Sentiment is pretty downbeat. The New Zealand dollar obviously has, um, against the yen, has been a very interesting trade. It's certainly fluctuated in pretty pretty wide ranging um, well, there certainly has been narrow trading ranges and it's and it hasn't really particularly trended in any uh, direction but I in my opinion I think that you know, the New Zealand dollar probably still has some further to go it, it probably has the edge over the Japanese yen so I reckon that we should see maybe it appreciate um, over the next month and then uh, the next quarter and possibly in a year's time uh, attempt to take out that uh, big high it made um, a while ago at 69. So um, my view is that uh, New Zealand dollar should possibly appreciate in line with uh, a general risk appetite, to a change in risk appetite to, towards slightly more risk buying. OK, moving across the trench, if you like, and on to Australia. The Aussie dollar has recently declined in value against the US dollar due to softening real estate price data coming out of China. And we know that the Australian economy relies heavily on China needing Aussie exports. How do you see this pair faring over the coming months with this in mind? Well, the Australian dollar, as you say, is very exposed to the Chinese economy, and we saw the GDP this month decline to 7.6%. A lot of people saying that you know uh, that's a uh, sort of slightly fixed rate, way higher than, uh, than the rate should actually be. But uh, even though we've seen imports decline a little bit in China, there's concern over the domestic demand there. The economy is still growing away like uh, no other, and demand internally is very, very high. So the economy still remains very strong. The general view for me, again, is, is um, I believe that the that, that, uh, dollar, obviously, is a risky currency. And I think that maybe uh, because, again, sentiment towards the Aussie dollar, generally on the whole, within the market, is quite bearish, I'm personally taking a bit of a contrarian view and think that the Aussie dollar should appreciate in, in the coming months. Finally, we've got the euro against the dollar. Now, similarly with the Aussie dollar against the US dollar, there's been a steady decline in this pair. Fed Chief Ben Bernanke has alluded in his testimony to Congress there's a good chance of further easing to come from the Fed. What are your thoughts on this pair? Yes, again, I mean, funnily enough, this, this pair doesn't conform to my view that, uh, um, you know, so being slightly contrarian and, and, and a little bit more um, risk appetite in my view, the euro dollar doesn't really conform to that because the euro obviously is, it has its um, serious structural problems. The eurozone is um, suffering more than uh, most other economic areas uh, and economies. And we can just see that obviously growth there really is slowing, both in the periphery and the core of the eurozone. So it's it's really very much at the moment uh, an unloved currency, and you know I I believe that that probably has further to go. So I would, in the case of the euro, probably go more with market consensus, and the consensus is that euro dollar has further to fall. I I I don't think it will benefit if there is more QE from the Federal Reserve later this year. I don't think the euro will uh, benefit as much as other risky currencies. It will 
probably see a short-term bounce. So my one-month view is to see uh, appreciation of euro dollar, possibly test 124.00. But over the longer term, I would expect to see the euro dollar um, probably go below 1.2 test the 2010 lows uh, and, and really I'm in line pretty much with market consensus there. Well that's it for this segment here on Ducas Copy TV. Don't forget to check out our other interviews today with Natalie and Rowena on the Bank of England minutes and of course the important financial environments of Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece and Spain. But from me though and until next time, goodbye.